Today, we're going to be talking about resetting a project baseline in Smartsheet. Setting a project baseline is highly recommended. A project baseline is something that you want to measure progress against. Therefore, once we're done with all of our project planning, if we're able to set our project baseline, when we're three months into the project, we're going to be able to say, are we ahead of schedule or are we behind schedule? If you look at the example that I'm sharing right now, this project is through the initiation phase, 100% complete. It's through the planning phase, 100% complete. And we are currently working on deliverable one in the execution phase. This had a project baseline set. And if you look over here, once we add a project baseline in Smartsheet, you're able to see if you're ahead of schedule or behind schedule by looking at the variance. If it's a negative variance, it is behind schedule. So you can tell row by row if you're ahead or behind schedule by looking this, for example, row 23 is 10 days behind schedule. Whereas if you look at the very top line for the project, we're 36 days behind schedule for the overall project. This is important. There will be times, however, that a change request is approved. So maybe someone says, because this unexpected event or this issue came about, we all agree that we're going to delay the project by three months. When that happens, maybe you do not want to measure against your original baseline anymore. So I'm going to show you how to reset the baseline in Smartsheet. The first thing that you need to do, we're currently in grid view. We want to switch it to Gantt view and able to have the option for baselines. So click on Gantt view here. And this is also helpful. The Gantt pops up, little fact in case you're not aware, Gantt is not an acronym. It simply stands for um, someone's last name that invented this view. So what a Gantt is, it's going to show us over time where the activities are. So the initiation phase, if we look at this row, it directly relates to row two. And the initiation phase ran from late January until roughly mid-February. It also shows us our critical path. If we click on these little red boxes here, show critical path, and then we can take a look over time where our critical path falls. Because it's a condensed view here, you don't see the full critical path. You only see some of them. But if I went and I expanded my view here and really took a look at it, you'd see every single red box, the critical path, which shows the shortest path from the beginning to the end of your project. Have a separate video on that if you'd like to learn more about the critical path. What you'll find is to the left of the critical path, it says baselines. And I'm going to click on baseline. This is another quick way to tell how many days behind or even ahead of schedule you are. It shows that it's in red. The variance is 36 days behind schedule. What we thought we'd be as far as the project schedule, we thought that we would be finished with activities that are currently finished by July 26 of 23. However, actually where we're at, they're not going to complete those activities until we get into September of 2023. Obviously, for those of you watching right now, these dates are in the future. <laughs> this is also a good tool for scenario planning. So if you're looking at specific scenarios, well, what if this activity or task delays by 20 days, what's going to happen? Your baseline can also be valuable in helping you with that scenario planning. Unlike MS Project, you cannot currently set multiple baselines. So let me say that again. Unlike MS Project, in Smartsheet, you cannot have multiple baselines. 
In MS Project, if you're familiar with that project management tool, you can have baseline one, baseline two, baseline three, and insert columns to measure against different baselines. For Smartsheet, you can simply remove or reset the baseline, which is important because if you remove or reset, you're no longer going to be measuring against your previous plan. You're going to be measuring against your current plan. So let's say we just got an approved change request. Our project sponsor said, yes, we need to make sure that we're delaying the project by three months. We all agree it's the best case scenario for this project. And so we implement that change request into our project schedule. And now we want to reset. I clicked the button reset. The baseline dates will change to match the start and end dates in your schedule. Do you want to reset the baseline? Reset. When we go back and look at the baselines now, we're going to have zero variance. It literally aligned our start dates and our end dates, which are our actuals with the baseline. I prefer just to look at this in grid view. So I'm going to go back to grid view. And you will now see start date, end date. These are our actuals. So when we have logic built into our schedule, the best way is to increase or decrease the duration of the different task. And so we would adjust that as needed. And now our baseline start and baseline finish directly relate to the start date and the end date. There's zero variance now for our project. I'm going to save. And now let's say we continue to work on some of our activities here. And we now know that activity three, 1.1.3 on row 25 is not going to take nine days. It's going to take 11. I'm going to change this to 11 days. You'll now see we have a variance of two days. We're two days behind schedule because we needed to increase that activity and our overall project variance is two days. I'm Candace Porter. I hope that this was very helpful for you regarding project baselines and how to reset a baseline specifically in Smartsheet. If you have not subscribed to this channel, it's about all things project management, we do cover a lot of project management tools, specifically Smartsheet. If you have a request for something else, feel free to get it out there. You can put it in the comments for me. You can also visit our website. It is EffectiveFlowConnections.com. And I look forward to hearing from some of you. Thank you. Have a great day.